tips on uh, fun apps for traveling or being on a beach or being in your room. Hello, my name is Sabine. I'm a long time solo traveler from the Netherlands. Uh, I make a lot of videos already who are, uh, that are really useful for other travelers on preparing their holiday or travel or during their holiday on travel. This video is about apps that you can use on your phone for entertainment while you're traveling or being on a beach or lying in next to the pool or into your room. Probably a very important one is where to find Wi-Fi because you can update all your apps and all your phones. And there is a special app for it. It is Wi-Fi SPC. I will write it down so you can read it uh, later. It's a very good app that shows you in the area where Wi-Fi is and it even includes a lot of passwords. So if you need a password, you can get on there. Another one, uh, another tip, it's probably not entertaining, but I find it very useful, that is Flush. Flush is an app that shows you where in the area there are toilets and we all use the toilet every day, so you might want to know where it is. Before you start traveling, you want to download some offline stuff because a long time when you are on the road, uh, on the train or in a bus, there's not many Wi-Fi all around the world. So you want to download already games. I have downloaded uh, Rummy Cup. I love playing Rummy Cup. It's even three great games in a row before you end. So it takes me a lot of minutes to win. Most of the time I win. Thank you. Uh, I also have a lot of uh, so like trivia pursuit. Uh, I love it because it's also entertaining, but it, I actually also learned something about it. Well, at least I hope so. Another app that is uh, fun for learning and can be useful to entertaining is Duolingo. With Duolingo, you can actually learn a language. So you can already start before you travel. It's useful when you are in a country to learn it. Uh, I have to say that if you actually already a little bit more advanced in the language, it can be, can be a little bit childish, but nevertheless, you can learn words with it. So it's actually a very good one if you go to a country where you don't speak the language or maybe you want to, uh, while you are traveling, continue learning another language. Of course, the most obvious one, uh, that everybody does is download music, a series or a movie uh, when you have Wi-Fi so you can watch it when you're offline. Uh, next to that, uh, I uh, only use the mu music actually, but next to that I always uh, also download a podcast. Uh, there are podcasts out there about like almost every subject you can think of and I think uh, like next to listen to music it's also sometimes fun to just listen to something and maybe actually learn something about it. Uh, the same goes with tech talks. I love tech talks. It's like you have a vision with it. It's like similar to podcasts and they have actually also tech talks about so much variety of subjects so there was always uh, a subject that is interesting to you i want to have uh, some kind of uh, variety uh, also with this i don't do it on the phone i have an e-reader with a lot of books on it that is actually also very useful so sometimes i listen to music sometimes i read and sometimes i listen to a podcast or a ted talk I hope my tips uh, give you some uh, are useful for you. As a lot of people say they are useful, I hope you find them useful too. So you can prepare your holiday and you can enjoy your holiday uh, even more. Watch my other videos. I have more videos on apps, but also what, uh, how to pack your suitcase or whatever variety on uh, travel or holiday tips. So watch my other videos if you want. You can also subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on a video.